You ever wonder if the weather patterns can affect how your quail lay eggs? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, deck, or garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're going to be talking about how the weather can affect your quail as far as egg laying goes. Uh, these are my quail, well you can't see them now because they're all hiding over here in this section right here, but you know this is my hutch with, uh, I don't know, two year old birds right now. They've been laying pretty consistently since, well today is uh, May 31st I believe, and they've been laying pretty consistently since middle of February. And I'm getting about, oh, seven or eight eggs a day out of this hutch right here, but the last couple of days I've only gotten about two eggs a day out of this hutch. And it's really, that's been about the last three or four days. And it's because of the weather. Um, if you've ever wondered if the weather can affect your birds, it can for sure. What we've had here is, even though we're in uh, late May and we should be well into our summer patterns, it's, you know, it's coming a little bit late this year. Um, and I don't know if you can tell right now, but it's kind of dark out here, kind of gloomy. Uh, the sky is just completely overcast. Um, it's been that way for the last week and a half. It's been just overcast, rain every day. Uh, we have oh about four days ago we had just a record rainfall I mean just rained non-stop all day long dark and gloomy outside we had you know city streets flooding and all those kinds of things and all that combined with a cold front that came through dropped us down in the lower 40s at night which is pretty cold for this time of year the birds have pretty much shut down lane for a couple of days. Now they're going to pick right back up. It's not a it's not a major thing. It's just it kind of uh, in a sense it kind of it kind of felt like winter. It was dark. It was gloomy. It wasn't very much light out. A cold front came through. It was nothing but rain. So I don't think that stressed the birds out necessarily, but just the lack of light because it was so overcast and rainy for so many days kind of signified that winter was coming on and they basically just shut down. If you don't know already, quail. The, the predominant factor of whether they'll lay eggs or not is the light, the amount of light that they're getting. They need 14 hours a day of sunlight or artificial light combined with sunlight in order to keep them laying consistently. Now I do have an artificial light on this hutch that comes on early in the morning. It goes for about four or five hours before the sun comes up, but then it goes off. And the problem was is that the days were not bright enough. There just wasn't enough sunlight out. It just kind of felt like evening time the entire day for the last four or five days, maybe a week, uh, something like that. So the birds kind of, you know, they, they can't help it. It's just a, a, hered a natural instinct thing. They just kind of stop laying. So I'm getting one, two eggs a day out of these guys. Now I expect within the next couple of days, as the skies start to clear up, they're going to start going right back to laying. I'll get seven or eight eggs a day out of these guys. So it's, it's not a major thing. It's not a permanent thing at all. While I am talking about this, I will tell you the other major thing that can affect your birds from laying eggs is stress. So if you move them around a lot, you move them from one hutch to another, they're going to stop laying for a couple of days. Uh, you may get an egg or two because it's already in their system, but then they'll shut down and it'll get about a week and then they'll start picking back up and start laying again. There haven't been any major stress factors on these guys except for, like I said, all the rain, um, the, you know, the gloomy days and all that, but that's more of a lack of light that's causing them to quit laying than it is a stress factor for them. So anyway, um, I know I've had that question many times where you know, people have asked, well, can the weather affect them? And I've always said, well, in a sense, I mean, sudden changes in weather can definitely affect your birds. You get a sudden cold front, it drops 30 degrees. That's a stress factor for them, and it can definitely affect their egg laying. Uh, but when you have weather like this where it's just gloomy for days on end, um, and unless you're running a lot of light on them all day long, which I have not been, they're going to stop laying for a couple of days. Um, they'll be sporadic laying anyway. So out of the seven or eight hens I've got in here, I'm getting one or two eggs a day right now, and that's been going on for about three days. So I expect probably within the next two or three days, they'll start picking back up and I'll get more consistent egg laying out of them. So anyway, I wanted to address that topic real quick. It's been a question that's been asked several times. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, God bless.